Occasionally, we're asked questions about introducing a gas into the test lung and then measuring the return of that gas uh, with exhalation. So today, we've set up a simulation where we are using the dual adult TTL to simulate spontaneous breathing. And we happen to have our head simulation module uh, on this unit. And we have connected a carbon dioxide monitor and sensor here at the endotracheal tube on this mannequin head. So in this setup, uh, this is a frequent question that we get is, can I somehow get CO2 into the lung and then measure it on an end tidal CO2 monitor? So this is how you would do that. What we've done is we've taken a CO2 tank and a low flow uh, regulator and flow meter, and we are bleeding a small amount of carbon dioxide into this spontaneous breathing lung. So we have run a, a line in here and we use the uh, pressure pickoff adapters that come with the test lung and you screw it onto this port here which feeds directly into this lung. Now that line is checked and so it is closed until you screw on the pickoff adapter. Once you screw it on you've opened up that line of access. So right now we are blowing carbon dioxide into the test lung. Oh, my alarm is going off because the sensor is not seeing the return. So CO2 is going into the lung and we are breathing this lung using our spontaneous breathing setup and that setup is found in another video on our site. And as that CO2 then gets exhaled, we're measuring it here with the sensor for the CO2 monitor. And if you can zoom in here, you can see that in fact we get a very regular waveform and a regular return carbon dioxide. So this would be ideal for you know changing ventilation rates, changing tidal volumes, changing the amount of CO2 being produced and looking at those results. So again this is a question that comes up quite frequently for us. Uh, can we introduce a gas into the lung and measure it coming back out? This is how you can do that. If you have more questions contact Michigan Instruments. Thank you.